I can't wait for the side by side with this one. Oh my. If you think about all the times you watched TV commercials for dessert specifically, anytime there's like melted chocolate, for example, sometimes you're looking at this beautiful tower of like profiteroles or any kind of dessert to be honest, and the chocolate is so nice and gooey and just melted all over like the foods. Ever since I started this series, it just makes me think about all these things and I always wondered how do they keep the chocolate melted. This first TV commercial hack actually comes from a food stylist who is based in Canada and she basically claims that every time you see melted chocolate on a dessert commercial they actually use these things called a heat gun. I've never seen one of these before. This is usually used for wallpaper. I think you use this to remove wallpaper and this is very very hot this reaches close to a thousand degrees fahrenheit which i think it's a lot so i'm gonna be very careful with this in order to test this out i'm gonna make a beautiful tower of like donuts i wanted to use profiteroles but the budget didn't allow there's a lot going on in this video and then we're gonna use the heat gun and just melt it and see if it looks better if it looks like it does in commercials does this thing work or not it better work because I spent a lot of money on this and I don't have any wallpaper to remove So we're going to start this by building a beautiful tower of donuts Like I want this to actually look like it could be in a TV commercial I mean if it doesn't fall apart it's looking pretty good. As you can see, I melted the chocolate a little bit in the microwave and this first experience is the same way we'd make it at home. I'm just gonna put the melted chocolate on top of the donuts. Obviously the chocolate will go solid very quickly but that is exactly the point because it's the same way it would happen at home. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> Just like we expected, it didn't take that long and the chocolate basically solidifies. That's just what happens when you're using melted chocolate. I mean, you've got like a good like two minutes before it starts going all like matte and weird. So what we're gonna do is find out if this truly works, if this is actually what they use in TV commercials, if this is going to allow us to melt the chocolate and somehow not destroy the rest of the dessert. So let's give it a try. This is so powerful. I don't know if this is gonna be a great idea. I'm gonna burn down my kitchen. Let's see what happens. Wait, let's start on, I'm gonna start on low. Oh my god, that's almost immediate. <gasps> that is so cool. Look how shiny it got literally in like three seconds. It just looks so much better. And this is on minimum power, so when we... Let's boost it up. It looks so shiny on camera. I mean, that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this whole thing is smoking pretty bad. <laughs> There's not much I can say here. This is 100% approved. Just the simple fact that the whole thing sort of started melting within like the first three seconds. I can definitely see how this is a very useful tool. And I think this can also be used for cheese and also to crisp up some chicken. So. I am going to say it's very, very realistic that this is used as a way to melt the foods without ruining the overall product. This next commercial hack, this is going to come as a shock to a lot of people, but what if I told you that every single time you're watching a commercial or a professional photo of wine or any alcoholic drink that is kind of like high price, you're not looking at the actual product. It's actually just water mixed with 
loads of stuff to make it look like the drink. We've already talked about this before, but when you're doing a commercial, you need a lot of shots and you need many different tries. And if you're using an expensive wine or a very expensive champagne, just imagine how much that would cost. That would cost thousands and thousands just on the food alone. Classic TV industry. So what they use is instead of using the actual products, they will create fake drinks that look very similar to the real deal. Some of them, they look even better. Some food stylists say that the red wine, the fake red wine, actually looks more vibrant and more appetizing than the regular one. So we're gonna put all of this to test. We're gonna be making three different types of alcohol. So we've got white wine, red wine, and champagne, and none of these are going to be the real deal. So we're gonna see them side by side and compare, does this actually work? The first thing we're gonna do is pour the regular champagne, and then we're gonna create a fake one and see the difference. So this first one is the champagne, so this is the shot we're going to use to compare. There we go. I mean, it just looks like regular champagne. Nothing too special about this. And I do think it's difficult to recreate this with these ingredients, but we're gonna give it our best. According to food stylists, the way to make fake champagne is basically using some soy sauce for color. And then for the fizz, we're gonna be using some of these tablets for like your stomach for heartburn. How is this going to look like champagne? I don't know. Okay, so let's try to pour the same amount. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe if we mix it. Okay, no, that's more like iced tea. Okay, I feel like this is kind of the right color. When we drop this, this is supposed to magically look like champagne, so... Does it? It actually kind of looks like champagne. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that you can see that in the bottom, it moves more than actual champagne. Like if you put them side by side, I think this one moves a little bit more. Don't really know what to think about this one. I think we should move on to making some of the red wine. And I'm gonna keep it real. I don't love the smell of red wine. Like it's very, very intense makes my eyes burn. Or maybe this is just because this is the cheapest I could find. I never realized that red wine is actually kind of dark. Like it looks black almost. So we're gonna try to recreate this, which should be interesting. Turns out in food commercials, when you're looking at red wine, you're actually looking at red food coloring. Let me just open this up. So this is the red food coloring. I don't know exactly how much I should add. I can't wait for the side by side with this one. Oh my god. That actually looks like red wine. Why does it look like red wine more than the other one? What's scary here is how easy it is to trick our brains into thinking that something is something that it isn't. Like, my whole life is a lie. Last but not least, we're gonna try um, with some white wine. And the reason why I wanna try this one as well is because white wine is somehow different than making champagne. So let's see if this one works as well. Once again, super weird stuff, but the TV commercial recipe for white wine is using some of this browning sauce. So I guess this is used for seasoning and also to give color to like meat. So it's very strange that we're gonna be using this to make some white wine. So I'm not gonna use a lot of it because I feel like this might be very concentrated. Oh shoot, that's way too concentrated. Okay, that just looks weird. <laughs> wow, this stuff is really powerful. I feel like we're not there yet. Okay, that looks a lot more like white wine. If you told me this is white wine, I would 100% believe it. So, is it plausible that this is what they use in TV commercials? 
I think so, like 100%. This next hack explains so much and why I felt like such a loser every single time I made a cake and I'm gonna explain to you why. Because this hack essentially claims that whenever you're watching a commercial or a TV show, like a baking TV show, and if the cake looks suspiciously perfect, which is almost always, it's very likely that what they're using is called a cake form. This is an actual thing that you can buy and it's basically made of like foam, like it's so light and this is just the size and the shape of a cake, except every edge, every corner of this is like so incredibly smooth and what they do is they apply the frosting on top of this so if you're sitting at home watching it, you're thinking, wow, they're really talented, they can really make a perfect cake except in reality on the inside it's just we're gonna frost a real cake like this is a regular cake I mean it's actually better than average it's pretty like smooth and we're gonna frost one of these and we're gonna see real life versus the commercial one we're gonna start by frosting the real cake and I just want to say that I've got no talent in frosting but I'm gonna have no talent in this one and the next one so it's pretty fair it's already becoming messy <laughs> The good thing is I only have to do the front of the cake because you guys won't really see the back for the comparison, so... The most difficult part is the bottom because I really don't want to <laughs> ruin my surface. This is looking pretty decent, I guess. I mean, I have to clean it up. Pretty happy with the frosting situation, but I kind of just want to put some sprinkles on top. Not that you guys will probably see it on camera, or because I want both cakes to be like comparable. Oh my god, why is this going everywhere? That's the best I can do, like I suck at decorating cakes, but I think it's actually pretty realistic, like the shape of the cake. And it will be interesting when we see the side by side with the one they use in TV commercials. I am ready to expose Rosanna Bensino. <laughs> I'm joking, but imagine all these years watching like Cake Boss and maybe what they've used was this. Like this was the inside of those delicious looking cakes. I would be so mad if this turned out to be real. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of frosting in the bottom because I think this is so light that this is going to move. And the most disturbing part is that they've got this in every possible cake size and shape. This is definitely a thing, there's an industry for it. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm also just going to frost the front because, oh my god, this is so much easier. I'm not even good at frosting, guys. I swear this is so satisfying and easy. Look how smooth that looks, like literally one freaking swipe. So we're gonna try to do the sides. I'm gonna try to do exactly the same I did before. It sticks really well to this, so I can 100% promise you that this is made with this in mind. All the cheaters in the world being exposed in my videos are you kidding me? <laughs> look, look how soft and smooth that looks. And like, ah, uh, every time I tried to make a cake for videos, I could have just lied and do this. This is why I've been stuck at 1 million for two years. This was so much easier. It sort of just moves with the whole thing because it's so smooth. I'm still going to decorate the top, but I think in this one, you can't really see it. I'm not gonna lie guys, this doesn't even compare. Like, this is a beautiful, unrealistic looking cake. Like, no one makes a cake that is this tall and also this like perfectly symmetric. Like, it's just a beautiful cake. It doesn't look real though. Maybe on camera it could be realistic. But like, <laughs> is it plausible that this is what they use in TV commercials and probably a lot of TV shows? 
Yes, 100%. How many times have you guys seen this like beautiful, tall, unrealistic looking cake? Almost every day on TV. So I'm going to say it's definitely possible. So I'm going to clean this up and we're going to move on to the next one. The reason why I love this next hack is because we're sort of going to expose the healthy people and all the health companies because I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but mostly for like a lot of healthy products like diet products, sometimes they do these beautiful arrangements of fruit and the fruit is sort of like all stacked together in this way that it, it definitely defies gravity and the laws of physics in general. I've definitely wondered before, how do they do it? How do they make the fruit? look like that like it's this beautiful tower of fruit that just looks like so fancy and it just makes you want to change your whole life and become a healthier person according to food photographers the way they hold all these fruits together is by using some fixo dent ultra denture adhesive cream so this is basically what people who have no teeth this is how they keep their fake teeth their dentures in their mouths it's with this super strong glue so according According to this one photographer, what the food stylists do is if you use like a stick, because fruits can't be really punctured, you can kind of see the stick, so they had to find a way to make the food stick together. And the strongest, most useful thing is Fixodent. I mean, this is random, I don't know if this is going to work. I feel like in this video, if one of these is going to fail, it's most likely going to be this one, so I'm excited to give it a try. I never thought I would ever buy denture glue or fixodent at such a young age but I mean I guess life truly is very unpredictable okay so I know what I want to start with I want to start with the apples I want to place them one on top of the other wow this is really weird oh my god that works instantly almost that's so weird we're already defying the laws of physics here. Holy schnitzel. Like, literally, this shouldn't be standing. This is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for a second. That is not a realistic position that fruit usually stays in. Okay, so no, <laughs> I think I think I'm being too ambitious here, guys. You know what? Let's <gasps> no. <laughs> okay, this is not working. This first one sort of dried, but the next this these ones aren't drying as well. I'm not very happy about this whole situation. Okay, yeah, um, it works great for apples, it does not work in bananas, and it doesn't work in pears as well, so is it possible that they use this? Yes, 100%, because of the apples, like, they actually work, we managed to stack three apples almost perfectly. It could go either way with this one, but let me know in the comment section, have I done it wrong? I probably used too much of this, or I should have waited for it to dry. This next hack is actually two separate hacks, but both of them sort of tie in together because this is about cold drinks commercial and I know we've talked briefly about this but I think these two commercial hacks if they work they will blow your mind the first one alone is going to shock you because every time you're looking at this beautiful icy cold drink in a food commercial the drink is most likely almost 100% of the times it isn't cold because instead of using real ice, what they use is this acrylic fake ice that you can literally buy online in any kind of size, any kind of shape. Apparently, every time you work with real ice, the ice melts way too quickly because of all the filming lights and just because things take a long time to prepare like a specific shot. So what would happen is if you're photographing or like shooting like a vibrant red drink, 
the ice melts and it becomes watery and then you sort of start to lose color and it doesn't even look like the actual drink anymore. This is when the fake ice comes in. I mean, I'm sorry, but like I'm obviously gonna try it, but this looks ridiculous. This looks nothing like ice. It actually looks like plastic. They use these so that the drink can be at room temperature. So most of the times, I know this is really weird for your brain, but you're looking at a warm drink even though it looks icy and all frosty, which takes me to the second hack that we're gonna be trying for this one. You know when they do those little water drop effects on the glass, like all over the glass on the outside, like it looks really cool. So you might think that that is Photoshop, that is special effects, or maybe it's just water. According to food stylists, none of this is true. So what they use instead of water is they use glycerin. Because this is thicker than water, what happens is the water drops sort of stay for a lot longer. So it doesn't evaporate, it doesn't become messy, so they fill up one of these spray bottles and they use it instead of water. So essentially you're looking at a warm drink with fake ice and covered in glycerin drops. Like this is truly one that we need to test and see if both of these actually work. So for our first one, we're going to use the real ice, obviously. I'm going to use quite a lot of ice because I feel like they always exaggerate how much ice they put in things in TV commercials. So this is the before shot, before we use um, the hacks. At the end of the day, it is a drink, so I wonder if this is worth like using the fake ice and the glycerin. So we're gonna put that to test on the next one, and then we're gonna see the side by side. You guys know the drill. So this is the exciting one. We're gonna use the plastic ice cubes that I got from Amazon. Okay, these, these cost like five pounds on Amazon, so I'm gonna try to use around the same amount, maybe one more. It's so freaking weird, because looking at the camera, it looks like Photoshop. Like, I don't know why, there's something like very artificial about this ice. Maybe with a drink, it's going to look a lot more normal. I'm gonna sort of step aside. Maybe reflect light differently. It's strange because it does look like real ice when you put the drink, but the final thing we're gonna do is put the glycerin drops in it. Now this is gonna be the fun part. I think glycerin is basically sugar, but if there's anyone uh, watching this video that understands about this, or maybe you study chemistry, let me know. It's not... It's not really coming out. I don't want to be dramatic, but I think I broke this thing. I don't think glycerin works here. <laughs> so we need a plan B. It's so sticky, like do you see that? It actually looks like water drops. I'm gonna use my finger to try to add that. Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay, maybe let's, let's try to like, oh shoot. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I'm ruining this. I am I am so sorry. I don't think it looks too bad on camera, right? Let me try to spin it. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Maybe not the way you should use it, but like, I see how, like, look how thick this is. Like, it's so weird. Like, this would definitely, one, 100% work. The real ice has already melted, so I can definitely see why they use the plastic one, and I can see the glycerin working as well, if it wasn't for the fact that I sort of did that. <laughs> as usual, I kind of feel like a mad scientist here, like I've got all these like gadgets, I've got a, a heating gun, like I didn't even know what that was before I filmed this video. Oh my god, I just spilled glycerin all over my kitchen. This is the reality of my videos these days. You guys know, I love, love making these videos. I have so much fun, so if you could support this series by giving this video a like, and also by subscribing and switching my notifications on, it would honestly mean the world to me because I cannot wait to do research for another part, and I've got a similar series coming up as well that I think you guys would love, so once again, I appreciate the support. Those of you who've got my notifications on, 
a million thank yous from the bottom of my heart and I cannot wait to show you all the weird stuff I've got coming up. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these hacks you felt like it was the most realistic one that actually surprised you. I'm gonna start picking one of you guys from my Instagram and give you a shout out to your page because I feel like a lot of people watch these videos and sometimes it's also nice to give back to you guys and the people who support this series. So I'm gonna start giving shout outs to people on Instagram so maybe I'll help you guys with getting a few followers or just maybe you love photography and you want people to see your photos so make sure to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out when I announce when I'm gonna do the shout out competition these are still my favorite videos to film I hope you guys enjoy this I had so much fun I love you and I'm gonna see you guys very very soon in just a few days I think that's about it for today I love you and I will see you on my next video bye bye